In an effort to combat the opioid crisis that troubles our nation, Facebook and the Partnership for Drug-Free Kids and the Center on Addiction have rolled out a powerful campaign to raise awareness and help break the silence. Marsha Lee Taylor is the Executive Vice President of the External and Government Relations to the Center on Addiction. Thank you for being with us today. Thank you for having me here this morning. Can you tell us about the campaign and what you hope to accomplish? Sure, the Partnership for Drug-Free Kids and the Center on Addiction have teamed up with Facebook to launch a national public awareness campaign to break the silence and the, sh and the stigma um, surrounding uh, the opioid crisis. Uh, the, the central message of the campaign is stop opioid silence. You know, one in two Americans know someone who's been impacted by the opioid crisis, but it's just something that we don't talk about, and the campaign aims to change that. And the central part of the campaign is the stories of 12 people from across the United States with very different backgrounds. And it, the, uh, the videos tell the story of their struggle with addiction, but more importantly, the hope of recovery. And the idea is that by these 12 people starting the conversation to share their stories, other people will come forward to share their own personal stories and more people will reach out for the help that they need. Well, let's talk about this because this was really new to me. I hadn't really thought about this piece of the opioid crisis is the, the stigma and the, and the silence. What is it that keeps people from getting the help or seeking the help they need? So stigma is a huge stumbling block to people uh, reaching out for the help that they need. And in fact, the Surgeon General has said that only one in four people with an opioid use disorder actually receive the care that, th that they need. Um, so the, the people have a real fear of, of coming out and telling their stories. They're, they're afraid that, that being, um, being transparent about their struggle will jeopardize their, their, um, their jobs, their housing, their parental rights, uh, their personal relationships. So we're hoping by raising more awareness about the hope of recovery, uh, about the fact that addiction is a disease and, and there are good treatments for it and people can um, resume healthy lives, that more people will be able to get the, the help that they need. Marcia, can you talk to us a bit about your partnership with Facebook? Sure. So Facebook is a great platform for starting this type of national conversation like Stop Opioid Silence. We already know that, that people who uh, people use Facebook to get support for their own personal recovery or support for, uh, for themselves as, as they're supporting a, a loved one um, who is struggling with addiction. So we're asking people through this campaign to talk more about their personal journey. Um, so this is a great place where people can begin that by sharing stories stories um, in their own social network. And another feature of the campaign is that when people click on one of the ads or when they go to stopopioidsilence.org, they can click on a message for help button. And, and that allows them through Facebook Messenger to answer a few questions um, through my organization and that, that will get them curated resources to really help them um, with their specific needs. Are people at all concerned about, since security in Facebook is such a, a big deal, how can people be assured that they'll be, uh, their information will be private? Yeah, this, there's there's a, a lot of security in this. There is anonymity. This the, it actually leads people through Facebook Messenger to our website, um, which uh, you know is is uh, we we talk to lots of people about about their substance use um, uh, issues, and we make sure that we have a lot of security on that. Um, so it's it's in no way going to be jeopardized. Can you tell our viewers where they can go to learn more information about your campaign? Sure. People can visit stopopioidsilence.org um, and see all the videos that are featured in the campaign as well as click on that message for help button that I mentioned. Well, thank you so much for your important efforts for our communities and our nation. Thank you so much. And we'll be back with more Local Lifestyles right after this. Stay with us.